One day, I shall come back. And the many faces of Doctor Who. Time travelling for 60 years and as popular as ever. Now, it is 60 years to the day since Doctor Who first appeared on our screens. Three special episodes of the sci-fi show are being released this weekend, which include the return of David Tennant as the 14th Doctor. Our entertainment correspondent, Lizo Mazimba, has been taking a look. David Tennant and Catherine Tate back in the roles they left in 2010. I had to wipe her memory to save her life. No! If she remembers me, she will die. To get to return to something that meant so much 15 years ago and was such a huge part of my life, to get to revisit it sort of full time, even briefly, was something I never really imagined. The three new special episodes are celebrating the show's diamond anniversary. Today, it's 60 years since the very first episode. I believe these people are known to you. They're two of my school teachers. What are you doing here? When viewers turned on their TV sets at 5.15 on the 23rd of November 1963, this is what would have greeted them, something they'd never quite seen the like of before. And what's wrong with it? So this is? The very first script of Doctor Who. Few can be more delighted to see it celebrating its 60th birthday than the man who directed the very first episode. Uh, I got the script and um, I just didn't understand it at all. And I said to Verity Lambert, the producer, what are we going to do with this? And she said, well, we're going to have to make it work. And that's where we are right now. We're still talking about something six years later because it worked. One day, I shall come back. And for the following six decades, there's been a long succession of doctors. Fantastic. Each with their own distinct personality, while still remaining... The Doctor. We're on the list. Battling monsters and villains. They are to be exterminated. The secret of the show's longevity, who knows? Or perhaps Doctor Who knows. They say there are only six or seven stories under the sun and mankind's genius is to retell them and entertain us with them. And this is one of those stories. It's all connected to the storytelling of, of a thousand years ago when people sat round a campfire um, and told tales of strangers who ride into town and make things better. After David Tennant, Shuti Gatwa will take over. The first Doctor fans hope of another 60 years of the show. Lisa Mazimba, BBC News. Right, let's time travel into the future to take a look at the weather. The <laughs> forecast from Darren Bett. Not too far into the uh, future, <laughs> Ben. Uh, well, we've got more sunshine around uh, today, but it feels very different in different parts of the country. This weather watcher picture taken in Suffolk and in the sunshine, temperatures of 14 degrees. It's mild. We're getting more sunshine today across Scotland and some showers as well. But if anything, in Scotland, temperatures are dropping through the afternoon. It's getting colder here. And uh, these are the sort of temperatures we're looking at this afternoon, north, south across the UK. You can see the contrast. It's mild generally across England and Wales. Typical temperatures are 13 or so. But for all of us, as you can see, for tomorrow, those temperatures are going to be lower. Now, in the mild air today, we've got a westerly wind, but it's going to be replaced by a north or northwesterly wind tonight and tomorrow. Colder air sweeping southwards behind that weather front there. Now, that weather front at the moment is bringing this cloud southwards across northern England and Northern Ireland. That will continue southwards overnight. There's not much rain on it. And then we get more broken cloud. We get the colder air. The showers in Scotland turn wintry even to low levels, and it could be quite stormy in Shetland overnight as well. Now, it will be a colder night than it was last night. In terms of frost, it's mainly in Scotland, perhaps the uh, north of England. There'll still be more cloud by tomorrow across Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest, producing one or two showers. That cloud will break up, though, and we'll get some sunshine. Most places tomorrow will be dry and quite sunny. But we've got those showers, mostly of rain, across northern Scotland, driving down those North Sea coasts as well. And these are the temperatures we're looking at. So lower than today and typically into a single figures. But it's going to feel much colder where the winds are strongest. So across northern and eastern Scotland, there will be a significant wind chill. All the way down those easternmost parts of England, in the stronger winds, it'll feel more like one or three degrees. Now, as the winds drop tomorrow night, we could well find the first widespread frost of the autumn. Away from those uh, exposed coasts, temperatures particularly inland 
could be as low as minus five. It has been very mild, of course, this month, but we're into a spell of colder weather. The winds won't be as strong on Saturday. There won't be as many showers as well. Most places will be dry and sunny, but there'll be a bit more cloud across northern parts of Scotland. And those temperatures again, sitting at around six or seven degrees typically, and it may well be a bit colder by the time we get to uh, Saturday in the far southwest. Second half of the weekend, still in cold air, but this time it looks like we've got more cloud around. And maybe the signs of some wetter weather coming towards Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest. Again, the winds will be quite light, but it will feel cold because we don't have so much sunshine. Ben. Darren, many thanks. And that is today's BBC News at One. You can keep up to date with all the latest developments on our BBC website. The news continues here on BBC One because it's time to join our colleagues across the nations and the regions for a look at the news where you are. But from me and the team, do have a very good afternoon.